hello friends welcome back i'm faraz and in today's excel video i'll be showing you a chart trick that's gonna blow your mind so this is a very secret trick i've been using it from quite a long time and uh, this is a real business case where i use it a lot so let's dive in together and see how we can do it and it's a secret remember so you, let's say that you have this data set where you have forecasted sales and actual sales and when you go insert and you say charts and you select the customer column chart now this chart type which is there which is very handy when you are comparing actuals versus forecasted sales kind of a data set where you have different products so now you can see that this chart is having but it's looking not that great because it is taking the total and it's shooting up like something really high so we always go and set this like this okay so you get a very neat chart very decent chart okay that's how we do it and sometimes when you go quickly out and you want to see that data sets the values of these data forecast everything in a table now something what is missing over here is the total column so when i bring this total column over here now you can see that this chart is looking really ugly this is not what we need the columns are not in line now when I go push it back again to this, then the total column is gone and we don't have that table in the total. Now what we need to do is that we need to have this total column always over here with the columns presenting it like this. Okay, so there's a trick to do that. Okay, so let's do it together. So all you need to do is go to format or you can just double click or you can go to format pane I can just double click the axis now when you go and see the axis the maximum axis is 1600 so remember this number now go and expand this total okay so when you expand it till the total column so you got the total column now you double click the axis so let's go and double click it and when you go in format axis you got this maximum so I told you to remember that number 1600 so let's go and push it to 1600 1600 so you got the the columns correctly been placed now the way you wanted before so but the only thing is that we have this two columns over here now we can deal with this one so what you can do is just select this column now you can see all the columns are selected so if i go and say no fill so it's going to hide everything so if i say automatic it's going to come so what you have to do over here is just select this column one more time so it is just selected this active column and make it no fill when you come again here same way for another column what you need to do is just select it one more time you can see that now the selection is only to that specific column and say no fill now we have our total column this table in our chart itself which is very handy when i'm putting it into presentation sometime you need to show the total forecast and actual sales and this is really cool and you can be more creative by just adding column and maybe you want to do some kind of percentage and you can also display it over there but right now i'm just going to show you how to do this total one and you have this total over here now remember that there is 1000 over here so we can see that it's automatically updated the column chart as well the column itself and the value and the total so this is very handy now only one drawback which is very important to remember so we have a maximum maxes of 1600 so let's say that if i place 2000 over here now it's gonna cross the bar the bar is crossing the limit what has been set on the axis so what we need to do in that case nothing just double click this one go to axis option and make it 2200 it should be higher than that the product the maximum the values what you have it in columns so now you get it correctly being placed over here so you have your forecasted value correctly being showing over here and you can just simply copy this one and put it in your presentation and this will save tons and tons of your time and space as well as on the presentation so my friends how is the secret trick do let me know in the comment section share your thoughts i'd be really happy to hear your feedback and if you have some better technique better trick then do let me know in the comment section i'll be really happy to hear from you and i'll be seeing you soon in my next video till then take care happy learning bye